Hey gang, YouTube family, professional gamblers, amateur gamblers, part-time gamblers, Lou here. So, hmm, looking at my balance, it's not what it was this morning. Uh, I am actually down a little over $400 uh, between Evolution and Pragmatic. So... Yeah, I uh, I was working a method from one of the Facebook groups and <clears throat> things that are said that shouldn't happen, happened. Um, so, how am I going to bail myself out of this? It's going to be a grind, that's for sure. But I'm going to get through it. So, looking at my history... Um, I'm currently down $160. This is from the evolution side. Um, I was down 250 from here and then down another 150, I think from pragmatic. So how am I bailing myself out of this? Well, right now it's $2 at a time. I'm doing hit and run. Uh, basically all I'm doing is betting on the winner of every shoe that I go into and bailing out after that. Uh, <clears throat> I find it's not so much the most glamorous way. I don't like hit and run systems. You know, if you're going to be a player, be a player, but you know, recovery is what it is. So I have three different methods that I use. Um, this is just one of them. I'm going to, I missed that. Uh, I'm going to show the other method as we move along here. And you're going to see some cuts, uh, of the screen or pauses. That's as I'm jumping in and out of each shoe. Okay. Uh, so that was bet the winner. <clears throat> No, sometimes I'll play the chop, which is going to be the top line of the main road there. I'll wait for it to change, you know, from a player to banker, and then I'll start betting. I'll bet player and keep playing that until it wins. Now, of course, you know, if you get a good cluster going on, <clears throat> you're going to lose. Okay. Um, the other method I use is down here on the cockroach pig, um, where I'll bet the patterns that are going on here, right? So for right now, for this video, um, I'm just going to concentrate on one or two, maybe three methods. Uh, I don't like betting on a streak when it gets this long, but um, I need to make a lot of money back tonight. So uh, as my balance goes up, I'll increase my bets, but right now I'm just doing a standard martingale. So, let's see what happens here. Okay, we got that. And on to the next shoe. You can look at the timestamp in the upper right corner, or upper left corner of the screen. Um, you know, all I did was pause the video while I'm jumping in between tables so it's not to bore. Oh, sorry, baby. So it's not to bore everybody. Um, a lot of times when I'm not in recovery mode, I'll use all three methods. So to demonstrate, this is going to be betting the winner. God, I hate nine, nine ties. Um, I also have another method I use from Bronson, which is uh, called Tai Chi. <clears throat> so basically what happens is that I wait for a box symbol. So I'm looking for two players, two bankers, or reversed. Um, and then I will start doing a ping pong bet back and forth between player and banker until I win. His method is to go until you get three wins. I'm just looking for one win per shoe. So there we had, um, we got our win on... The player. Yeah, I didn't pause the video here. I'm just, I'm kind of in a rush. 
Uh, let's see. I'm not looking for anything in particular in a table. Uh, I actually started up at the top at Baccarat, and I'm just working my way through. So... Let's see what happens here. No, this is a great shoe. Just a Martingale Banker. Wow. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and break this streak by betting on it. Okay, told you. <clears throat> now here, because player just came up, not because it's all these bankers, but because player came up, I'm going to play the chop of this top line. Okay, got that. Now, last thing to do here, and again, my recovery method says I do a hit and run, but for the purposes of this video, I'm actually making this for one of the people that I work with, uh, one of the people from the Facebook group. On the cockroach pig, what do we have going on? We got a bunch of blue slashes and some red slashes, right? So we see... That blue and red is going into twos. So a red slash here would be for player. You could see there. Um, so I am going to... I don't know how to get that to stop. But anyways, I'm going to bet on player hoping for a red slash. Okay, just like that. All right. So, um, so what do we do? We did a bet on the winner and that lost. Uh, we did, how, how, how do I, I don't know how to make this stop. I know how to make it stop. Let's get out of the shoe. Okay. Um, let's go find another table. If it sounds like I'm panicking, it's because I am. Uh, we're coming down to the end of the month, and I need to do a withdrawal, and this is not good. $400 in one day. Or, no, I'm, I'm sorry, $450. I went from $811 to $350. So, you guys do the math on it. Figure out how much I lost. Uh, right now, I'm just doing what I got to do to start making it back. It's going to be a long night. Okay, so, again, I'm going to start by betting on the winner. And again, I'm not looking for anything in particular in a shoe. I'm just going into random shoes and betting these methods. Um, methods that require permutations always have a way to lose. So I'd rather not play a set pattern. I'm trying to stay fluid with the shoe. Okay, so we got our win there. Normally, I would exit the shoe. Again, for educational purposes, I am going to wait for this to switch back to banker. And then I will bet player. To play, to play that chop on the top line of the main road. The reason being, as everybody knows, 50% of this game is a chop, and that chop happens on the top line. Now, if we could predict when it's going to switch every time, oh yeah, this would be, this would be cake. Uh, but we can't, you know, because you have a two-streak, a three-streak, um, 16, you know, I, I've seen ridiculous... Uh, ridiculous runs go on. So we're just going to sit and wait. If this doesn't win here, I'm just going to pause the video 
and then pick it back up when it when it does switch. Okay, looks like this is going to be it. Nope. Okay, I will be. I'll start the video again when it switches. Okay, so it switched. Uh, so now I am going to bet the chop here. I know Smart Money Group has a video out about betting the chop or betting the loser until something streaks two times. Um, problem is that when you have a lot of shoes that are all twos, you're never going to win. Okay. So, what am I going to do? Am I going to bet again? No. I am going to wait for it to switch back over to player up at the top. Yes, sometimes there's some sitting involved. But when you pick a method, you need to stick with that method. You need to have consistency. Because this game will burn you any chance that it gets. As some of you may or may not have found out by now. Okay, I'm going to pause. I'm going to come back when it switches. Okay, so it was a split second for you. felt like an eternity for me, waiting for this to go five times. Uh, so, I'm going to go ahead and bet Banker here. Because this would be our next chop. Kills me not to bet on streaks. All right, here we go with another cluster. Now, I will say this does require some patience. And actually, so now that we've lost two doing it this way, the next time it switches... Uh, I'm going to actually bet the winner there looking for, you know, a 2x2 a two two pattern. Or at least a second position. So right now we'll let this... We'll let this, we'll let this one play out. And again, if I have to pause, I'll pause and I'll bring it back. Okay, so our last bet was four dollars, so we're gonna make that eight. And I'm only doing a six martingale. My normal system uses eight, um, or I lost all that money today was on four bets. So, but they were for much higher amounts. Okay, you dirty rat. All right, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to come over here. And we're going to look for a second position here. Now, if this loses, then my next two are going to be uh, playing that chop. Hopefully, we don't run out of shoe by then. This wasn't supposed to take this long. Okay. So there we go. We got that. All right. Now. 
Yeah, we got time. All right, so looking at the cockroach pig here, what do we got going on? Red slashes, blue slashes. Right now we're in a 2-1 pattern. I'm going to wait and see what this next one is going to be. I'm thinking it's going to be banker uh, just based on what's going on with the slashes. Uh, I play sort of a jelly belly uh, procedure here, uh, if you're familiar with that. And if you're not familiar with it, basically what Jelly Belly is, is whether you're looking at the derived roads or the main road. Whatever happened last is what you're betting. So, let's say you have a banker and a player. Well, the last time banker came up, it only bet one time. Uh, it only hit one time. So, you would be betting... the. Uh, I'm sorry. So, you had banker, player, uh, player. Now a banker comes up, right? So the last time a banker came up and only hit one time, so in this case you'd be hitting, you'd be betting for a player, right? Should player come up, you wait for the next chop, okay? And you copy that result, in which case a banker only was, a player hit twice, so you're going to say, okay, player is going to hit again, and that's what you would be betting on. Okay, so uh, we got a two by two going on here. Now, you don't bet this the way you would normally bet. I'm just going to follow the winner here. So, oops, uh, player would, would produce a red slash here. Okay, now again, following the winner, a player would produce a blue slash. So, I'm betting player. And I'm just following the winner here. There's no mm, jelly belly or any other strategy. And I'll do that until it chops two times. And then I'll play that chop. Okay, and we got our win there. All right, so we came up, whatever, $6 in this shoe. Yeah, it has to be. So two, and I won three times. So came up $6, come over here to our history. And okay, so from where we started off, now we're only down, <laughs> only, but we're only down $145. All right, so... I'm going to keep going, so it's going to be a long night, um, and keep chipping away at this. But, like I said, the purpose of the video uh, was for Fran on the Facebook group that I belong to, so that he could see what I mean by bet the winner, bet the chop, and then play the derived road. All right, guys, it's Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving. Uh, I hope everybody has a safe and healthy Thanksgiving day. Eat lots. Be gluttons. And uh, hey, until, you, until I see you next time, remember, it's the casino's job to take as much money as they can from us. It's our job to take as much money from them as we can. Peace.